Hello, you are listening to Those Are the Girls with Mallory and Friends. I'm Mallory. And I'm Isabel. And we are changing culture or bringing back traditional values. That's not the intro that I wanted to use, but whatever. That's our old intro. The idea is this is a pop culture podcast and not like other pop culture podcasts. Um, hello, how are you, Isabel? I am good. How are you? I'm good. Um, I feel like I had a busy week, but I was thinking before we got on, I don't know what I did this week. So I guess it really wasn't busy. It just felt busy. I I know. I kind of, I don't know about you, but it kind of felt like a long slash short week. Yeah. Um, I was telling my coworker because we we had plans to do, um, like get together after work, like happy hour. And I thought, and I was like, yes, girl, let's do it. And this was yesterday. She was like, I, she was like, I can't today. I, I said Thursday. And I was like, wait, it's not Thursday. So all day yesterday, I kept thinking it was Thursday and then it wasn't. So I'm like, oh, that sucks. Um, yeah. Today is Friday um, Eve. It's been I'm recording this. Yes, ma'am. Um, no, I've been okay. Um, I actually, last weekend was pretty like refreshing. It was like a self, oh yeah, it was like a self care weekend. Um, so I got and my you eyebrows. got your eyebrows. Yes, I got my eyebrows laminated and tinted. And um, the lady that does my eyebrows, she's so sweet, and um, she's Russian, so all her products are foreign, and they're like the best products ever. She was actually telling me that, um, like, the beauty like standard is so much like better in Russia because America still have a lot of like the FDA basically doesn't really regulate on like all the products that can be out on the market. So like the Russian products are actually very, very top tier where here it's a lot of mass production. So it's not a lot of the, the grade A ingredients. And so she says she was just like, yeah, that's one thing about, about Russia. She's like, if you get your eyebrows and stuff done there, they're like made with the with the best product. So, anyways, she's really good, um, and she's basically become like my therapist. <laughs> uh, because you know, like anybody that does your hair, your nails, like you just get to bond with them. But um, yeah, so it's funny. And every time I get a haircut, it doesn't. It's not that like it doesn't take that long. So I don't really bond with my hairstylist. I don't really bond with the nail ladies um, because I usually just go to different ones, like whatever is easiest. I hate like I'm not a big let's sit at the nail salon for an hour. But really? my eyebrows and my guest queen, do what you gotta do. We're here all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm BFF with my nail ladies. I love them. I know that they're like super nice to me to get the tip, but I really do think sometimes we are friends. Like they invited me to go on vacation with them one year. Mm-hmm. Um, we were to where? I love them to on vacation to Vegas. What? There was like tickets. I think the plane ticket was like two hundred thirty five dollars. Yeah. one holiday they're like you should come you should come i was like oh guys i can't and they're like no come and in my head i was like should i go to vegas <laughs> in your head you're like with I'm my nail like, yeah yeah so <laughs> they're so <laughs> sweet they, they probably told you once and you're like let me think about it yes the girl that's me if i have no plan yeah I'm like, don't tell me twice because i will be there i no, seriously for real that's one so thing funny. like um one thing about singleism that I'm very blessed. Singleism, singleness, <laughs> singleness. I don't know what singleism. Is. Honestly, I like that word. Singleness, single, singleism. <laughs> One Girl. thing about singleism, singleness <laughs> that I like is I can kind of just like do whatever I want as long as it doesn't yeah. interfere with my job, which provides me the money to do what I want. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can kind of do whatever I want. I can cu- respectfully. I can kind of come and go whenever I please. I don't have to, hey, let me ask my husband. I, I can just be like, okay, cool. Like, actually, last weekend, yeah. my friend needed me to do something, and I ended up going to Raleigh, and I ended up seeing tons of my friends. Um, and it was spur of the moment. I had no plans to do it. Thursday night, she called me. She needed help with something. I was like, okay. I mean, I don't have to run by anybody. I can just get in my car and go. Like, and that's one thing girl. I do like. Yeah. I love that. Yes, Queen. You yeah. Know, single and ready to explore. I was gonna say single yes. and ready to <laughs> No, I no. love that. Like, yeah, like this weekend, I mean, I was like, Well, what does Isabel wanna do? Because I don't have to like you know, com- you know, tell other people my plans or uh, a significant yeah. other. And, um, you know, when you're in a relationship, it's about like, okay, what do we want to do? You know, what does the other partner want to do? So like, it is nice to just be like, okay, well, I want to go get my eyebrows on and then I want to go and, you know, go out with my friends and what else did I do? I forgot and what you else can I did, explore. But... Yeah, exactly. 
I'm actually um, planning some trips, you guys. I'll keep everybody posted. I'm actually planning some trips on next year that I'm very grateful that I can just kind of go out and see the world and do things and I don't have to worry about, okay, um, this, this, and that. I actually, um, a trip that I was planning, I kind of told some friends, I invited some friends um, along. It's I don't want to say it yet, but it's the one I was telling you about mm -hmm. um, for my birthday. Anyway, yeah. so um, that trip and my two friends that are um, in very settled life, mm -hmm. they automatically were like, no, can't do it. And it's over a year from now. <gasps> and in my head, I was like, how can they say no already? Like, you don't know what you're going to be doing, but that's they're married. They're settled. They have their job. They have their career. They're not going to get another career they like so that's a pop to me this is one of the positives of singleness i have no idea where i'm going to be a year from now <laughs> um i have like literally i have some things changing in january in my life um i'll update you guys soon but like in january like, yeah. one or two things will be changed in my life so like i who knows where i'll be a, a year from now so i cannot um you know exit out or i cannot you know like say no to anything really I, I the whole world is in my hands but you know when you're married you have kids you're kind of settled you kind of this is that so this is our budget for this i know that we make this amount of money this is our budget i have to stick with that but you, you also have to split. a girl like me yeah you have yeah. to split everything your finances your time mm -hmm, your family mm -hmm. like I know my siblings are all married, um, besides my little sister, obviously. Uh, she, you know, they have to go to two Christmases, two Thanksgivings, two New Year's Eves, two New... Like, I mean, their time is just so split, and it's very busy, actually. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like, it just comes with, you know, the different seasons in life, right? There's things that are, mm -hmm. like, pros and cons about being single, pros and cons about being in a relationship. One of the yeah. pros of obviously being single is that you could just pick up and go wherever your little heart desires, and... Pretty much like that. I mean, I was thinking back of this year, like, I don't know if you, like, do, obviously, you probably do this, but, like, we're already in October, which is almost over, so it's, like, a few, two more months left in the year, and then it's over, so I'm, like, I'm, like, doing a lot of reflection around this time. Yeah. This is kind of I where it hits me, reflect. like, braving myself for another, like, season of singleness and, like, yeah. holidays and all of that, which we should do a podcast episode on that, so I think, I think not only just, like, venting, not venting, but just saying, oh, we're single, this and that, but, like, really like doing a podcast episode on how, how, how you can celebrate it. the holidays and how you can yeah. enjoy it. And when you're single, because I think a lot of people, I think society, especially in the movies and everything, they make you feel like if you're single, like it's a disease, like it's something that's like contagious or something. <laughs> and the reality is it's and, couple season from now until yeah. February is couple season. All yeah. of the holidays focus on couples and X, Y, and Z. But the, what I've told myself and I'm going to have, in yeah. November, I'm going to have, a, like, a plan or something for all of us single gals. But I'm deciding I'm not going to be, like, sad about it. I'm not going to care. Like, I'm just going to yeah. enjoy it. I'm going to do more. I'm going to say more. I'm going to be... I'm not going to allow this time to be just nothing but sadness. I'm not even going to allow this time... Because I know there's a lot of girls who are like, okay, I'm going to write in my journal all this stuff for my future husband. There's nothing wrong with that, I guess. Like, if that's what you want to do. <laughs> but, like, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to focus on, like, where I am now in this season. Yeah, and, for sure. And, you know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. At the end of the day, God is still good. So you should enjoy this moment yeah. in where you are. I agree. Um, I think, cause... What I was going to say about the reflections really quick is I also reflect because um, mm -hmm. my birthday is in November. It's the second to last day yes, of the Don't year. Put that in your calendar, uh, I'm guys. sorry, of the month. Yeah, November 29th. Uh, my cash app is no, I'm just joking. Um, it's the second to last day of the second to last month um, of okay. the year. So I always do like a what's happening this year. I always do a um, what's happening this year. Yeah. What I plan to do in this next year. Well, this year I'm actually going. I'm I've been thinking about reflecting, and I'm going to do my reflection next month. But I also decided I think I'm going to do thirty. I'll be thirty in two years. So I was like, maybe mm -hmm. I might do thirty things to do before I turn 30 and it let it just be mm, a bunch so of true. random that's fun so that's things so yeah because like I'm just tired of being sad about singleness like yeah I want to not care I want to be like it is what it is it's not what it ain't 
you know? Right, right. And I think, um, I don't know if you follow, follow Emily Wilson on Instagram, but she has a really good stuff on singleness. I think you probably do, but I probably she's going to say like, the same familiar. thing about just enjoying your singleness and there's nothing wrong. She also said like, there's nothing wrong with like desiring a, a partner. I think a lot of people get confused and they think, oh, because I desire a partner, that means I'm not happy single or that right. in order to find a partner you like can't even think about you a partner. Be, you know yeah, what I mean? and I just think that's just so unhealthy because then you're as a single person, you're just stuck in this like weird area of like, okay, should I think about it? Maybe I'm thinking about it too much. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be desired. Maybe mm-hmm. I shouldn't like this. I was that. like that, and it's like I've met so many women that have met their partner by shooting their shot, and not, and not. I think there's a there's a a balance because I think it's not really shooting your shot. Um, it's more of like dropping the hint that, Hey, I, I was going to say, I personally won't be shooting a shot, but right. more power to the girls that right, do. Right, right. I but, personally won't. <laughs> but, um, I think it's more of like responding to maybe someone kind of, maybe not kind of, that's not the right, <laughs> that's not the right word for choice, but, um, you know, dropping the hint of, I, there's, this other, I do believe in dropping hints, like dropping the hint and saying, Hey, I am, I am available. I am interested. Cause I also think like they can't read your mind. So if you're no. like not putting yourself out there and like not being present and making yourself, you know, I don't know, open to opportunities. then obviously that people, guys can't read your mind, you know, especially if right. you intimidate a lot of men, which yes. I feel like that's kind of my experience. I'm just like, why? Like, Dang. just come talk to me. I don't buy Yeah. It. But anyways, now I'm just going off on a tangent. Basically, I, um, girl, what was I getting with this? What was I saying? What? Yeah. What were we talking about before this? <laughs> Singleness. Oh, just, okay. Just reflecting freedom. on the year. Reflecting on the year that's passed. Like yeah. professionally, spiritually, physically. I know there's just so many things that I want to change about myself. Or not yeah. change about myself, but like improve. Like, improve. Um, I like but, that. Yes. We're you know. improving. We're not changing. Yeah. We're improving. 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 <laughs> it's like your higher self. Like who you who you are and who you want to be. Right? Mm. Um not really. Yeah. So, so anyways, I reflect a lot on this year just because of the timing of it all. And also my birthday is February. So as I get older, approaching my birthday, like we're the holidays, kind of the same. Like, it's just a big yeah. reflection time. And I'm reflection just like, okay, season. Well, mm-hmm. I can, ha- I can go into the new season, de- not depressed, but you know, sad and, 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 you know, not joyful and just miserable, or I can go in like thankful and joyful and happy. Um, not necessarily happy because I feel like happiness is fleeting but joyful is a season, uh, is an internal state of mind of like and I'm sometimes going to you can just be content be joyful you yeah. know and i just realized like a lot of the times when i feel down or i feel sad or i feel whatever and, like obviously these emotions are normal cuz we're humans um but i think being grateful you know like going back and saying god i'm grateful for my life i'm grateful for my family i'm grateful for having a roof over my head i'm grateful for having a car like even just right now like with the whole like when when you're sick the first thing you think about is like god i'm so sorry for all the time that I was not sick and you know like I wish I would have done this and that so I think being grateful really really goes a long way that's just something that has been in my heart to share so I don't know if you're going through a time where you just feel like oh my goodness my life sucks or this and that or I'm not where I want to be like just sit back and like reflect on all the things that you have overcome and that you know the things that you do have and the people you do have around you and just like be grateful for that because um, I promise it's gonna start shifting like you're not gonna feel crappy you know and to piggyback off of that and then we should probably this isn't even a top like one of our main topics but honestly this is what needs to be said this is what the holy spirit wanted this out um but to top it to (laughs) add (laughs) to add to that what really helps me get out of um when i'm starting to get really sad a funk is to being busy um, yeah. And not in the, like, I can't think I had to do that, but being busy in the sense of like, you know what, I am doing X, Y, and Z. I don't really have time to think about how this aspect of my life kind of really sucks. Also too, I just keep telling myself, and this is something I've been holding on to, is no matter what, God is good. So yeah. this X, Y, and Z, excuse me, this X, Y, and Z part of my life really sucks. I'm not happy about this. At the end of the day, God is good. So everything that I'm going through it is for God's good. And even though it feels like I'm not going to get ever get through this, and who knows if I'm ever going to get through this, at the end of the day, God is good. Yeah. And going that. back to that, it really, really helps centers to be new agey, or not to be new agey, but it really centers my mind, I get, or 
um clears my mind maybe is the right word i don't know yeah. but when i Brings go you to back like, to your core yeah when i uh that sounds new agey ish too but anyway <laughs> the point is <laughs> the point is god is good so everything that's happening and even if peace. um there I we heard, go peace peace that's what it is it's peace um i heard someone say this like if god never blessed you again would you still love, love him, yeah. worship and praise God and like For really sure. sit with that and think like if God never blessed you again because I think we've also come into we make God a genie a lot yeah. like yep um, we're ungrateful it, is, it comes back from ungratefulness it's like yes you're, you're, you're feeling entitled you're like oh god yeah. I'm entitled to all the good days I'm entitled to the good food and the good job promotion and the good husband and the like we it's like you just have to be careful that it doesn't come from a place of like entitlement as I said I think it's yes. important to stay grounded and stay grateful and just be thankful to God like you said like God is good no matter what God is good despite yes. of our circumstances yes despite of your bad days he is still good and but it's normal to feel defeated you know i think yes. that's what the bible says you know to not be afraid and it's so encouraging and it's just like you know because god knows that we're gonna go through things as humans but exactly about persevering um yeah. And he said, and the Bible says that he'll be with us in times of trouble, which means there will be times of trouble. I think we forget right. about well, God will be with us. God will be with us in times of trouble. So if you are going through something really tough, if you are in a time of trouble, just know that God is with you and God is good. And yeah. like Isabel said, thankfulness is so important. Um, but yeah, so that has been your spiritual moment of the day. Let's get to our main stories. <laughs> um <laughs> Valerie's like I thought this was a happy moment I'm just kidding. no no no. I think it was good I think we ended it on a good note I think like I said like for me just remembering God is good even if I don't get yeah. x y and z that I like and I think you made a very good point about that entitlement sometimes we and I'm guilty of this sometimes I think I'm entitled to x y and z because Girl, God, I know I am because I'm like God <laughs> I know this ain't happening to me because <laughs> yeah I'm at church I'm praying <laughs> Or I'll even be like, God, now you saw her over there. I, I'm so confused. Why is she walking around with my blessing? God, I don't know. Why is she walking around with my blessing with my life? And I do that. Like, I've done that a couple times. I'm actually thinking of two people right now. And it's like, well, no. <laughs> None of that is mine. And I'm not entitled to any of that. Um, the Holy Spirit convicts you. Yeah. The Holy Spirit convicts you. Like, no, ma'am. He truly does. not doing that. <laughs> He's like, girl, now yeah. come on. And yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, and I think really two, quick before, two Bible verses. Oh, sorry, sorry. Two Bible Ooh, verses good. that I always think about that is um, you know, oh my god, I can I can is it Romans eight one eight where it says all and he works together all the things for your good, right? That Bible verse. Oh, uh, that's is, Philippians, what is I believe. No. I believe it's Philippians. Can you check because I'll okay, think wait, wait, wait. yeah, I'm looking it up right now. Good, good, Romans. good. I think it's Philippians. I do not think it's Philippians. I stand on my word. I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow, I'm wrong. I told it's you. It's Romans eight twenty eight. I'm wrong. Ah! <laughs> Romans eight twenty eight. You're right. Yes. Can you, All can you things say that work verse? together for. Yes. All things work together. I'm so sorry. Let me start off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's um, not leave the next Bible study. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Okay. Sorry. I want to. Um, I guess I'll just do King James. I'm just trying to find a good, I'm sorry. Let me do ESV uh, really quick. I'm so sorry. No, um, fine. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm like, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. I Romans love that. 28. That yeah, is one of my the verses that I cling on to, even though it was one number off. I like that. That verse is just like my verse. I'm like, Everything's going to work out because I serve a good God. So, Amen. Yes, me know. Okay. Sorry. Didn't mean, didn't mean to preach tonight. No, no, it's okay. I don't okay. know why I'm talking it's in okay. a country accent. <laughs> I, I just feel like, yeah. I, and, and sometimes I, 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 not hide, but I like wait. If I'm not having a, if I'm not on my like on days, sometimes I'm like, I'm not going to create content. I'm not going to get on stories. I'm not going to do the podcast. But I'm like, honestly, sometimes you just need to show up as your authentic self and mm -hmm. maybe maybe god is allowing you know certain things to happen in your life so that you can encourage other people you know so every single time that i've tried to like not not share certain things or like one of the times that i have shared you 
I get messages all the time saying, Isabel, thank you so much for sharing that. Like, I needed to see that. Same or here. I needed to hear that. Same here. So I think it's just kind of like, okay, God, I'm not going to, I might not feel my best, but I'm going to show up and I'm going to do this. And I hope it encourages someone. And like, I hope through me, someone can get touched and know that, you know, God is good. Same so. here. And I agree. I think, and Isabel and I have talked about this before, you know, I'm not going to go on my Instagram live <laughs> do anything like that. That's not going to be, you know, snot running down my face. That's not, that's not to that's me that's, that's just true. not me <laughs> i mean no judgment to those who do but i do think there is some truth in sharing you know what like this x y and z is really tough today can you pray for me or i'm going through this and man god is so good but this is so hard because right. when i do share things that i am going through i do try to end it with at the end of the day god is good because i also don't want to be um like the sad Sally. Yeah. And I don't want to be a sad Sally. And I also want to be honest. Like, at the end of the day, God is good. I'm going through X, Y, and Z, and it sucks. But God is good. That is just... It's that me. really... I should get that tattooed. That is, like, really something that has... <laughs> um, I love it. I'm going to stop That now, has really helped me. We'll keep going. Sorry, guys. Me and Mel actually just... We kind of, I guess what, we talk like two minutes before we start get on the podcast. Yeah, so normally, we're just kind of catching up, too. Yeah. And normally, like, we talk honestly like an hour before but we didn't get a chance <laughs> to do that and same thing with melanie whenever melanie comes on too yeah. it's like two hours before anyway let's get to what we're talking about today first i have some let's announcements see. um don't forget to join our patreon if you join our patreon um you're going to get exclusive access to certain things you're going to be in the know certain things we have like a tiny little group chat right now shout out to the girls in there Y'all know who you are. And um, <laughs> you're also going to get something free. Um, not, I won't share what it is yet, but you're going to get something free soon. Um, and you should definitely join. You're also helping us. Um, if today we're recording this on a Thursday night and um, on Thursday, or I'm sorry, on Wednesday at Feminist Instagram put out um, an Instagram that was a lie about what an actual fetus is. And really what it yes. reminded me, yeah, and really what it reminded me of was, like, we need things like those other girls. There's a lot of things I want to do more with it, but honestly, we do need supporters. We need people who will want to be in a hand with us, hold hand in hand with us as we work to change culture, specifically for women. At Feminist is a very popular Instagram page. I mean, I can't imagine the thousands of women. I'm pretty sure they're at a million followers. I can't imagine the thousands and millions of women who um, were deceived because of that. So we need us out there. We need organizations like those other girls um, out there combating those lies with the truth. So if you want to be a part of what we're doing, if counter you culture, counter culture, if you want to be a part of that, your $5 a month will truly make a difference. I'm telling you, it's going into the different things for the podcast. It's going to be going into some of the projects that we're going to be working on in the up upcoming year. Um, we're going to be doing some other really cool things um, February of next year. Everybody keep calendars open. Things like that. So join a Patreon. Those are patreon.com slash those are the girls. Um, and um, also, too, our sweatshirts are back in stock. Yes. My favorite. This is actually the most purchased item. The anti-abortion <laughs> social club. You can't see it. Fully, it's cute. But I like the color. Thank you. And it's so yeah. comfy. This is, it's a really like the inside is like fleece, I guess. I don't know what material it is, Especially but it's so comfy. Weather. Yes, it's perfect. The March for Life is coming up. This is a perfect sweatshirt to have. It's going to be very cold in DC. Um, and it makes good gifts. Um, a couple people have also bought them for uh, family and friends for gifts. So go to www.thosearethegirls slash merch to get some merch. Lastly, on a personal note, by the time you guys get this, it will be announced that my jewelry store, The Pink Rose, um, is we really, well, we, but we and me, me. <laughs> we, <laughs> you can say we, girl. <laughs> right you now, it's just future staff. Me and my future staff. Yes, yes. Your girl needs residual income. Um, so um, I'm back to jewelry making again. Um, oh, I have so missed exciting. it. Something. I'll do a whole video about it another time. But um, I 
would be remiss if I didn't mention this necklace. It is called the Esther Rose. It's now available by the time you guys hear and watch this. It's a really cute rose. It's a custom rose. It's a rose that is actually our um, logo. And it has a fully bloomed so um, rose. And then it has a little, a tiny rose that's like being formed. And how I picture it is, um, you know, we are, we're, f- some of us are fully bloomed and we're trying to help others bloom with us. Just how Esther, you guys remember for such a time as this, um, just how Esther was leading this is necklace. Hopefully, I pray that when you get this necklace, you'll also be reminded that you were created for such a time as this and you are helping other people. You are leading. This is your, um, this, I just want this to remind everybody. Like, that's my heart behind it. Um, so it is now available at Shop the Pink Rose. Go to the Instagram and everything and um, you can order from there. I'm doing pre-orders right now. If I can get enough pre-orders, everybody will be able to have theirs by Christmas. Those are oh, great Christmas okay. gifts. Get more than one. Get them for tons of people and they're just $25. Um, and they'll come with a cute little note and just a re- once again, That's it's just so like a cute. reminder that you're created for such a time as this and we're helping people. Just as Esther helped, we are fully bloomed roses and we can help other people become fully bloomed as well so i just I love wanted that. to mention that thank you thank you okay those are all the announcements don't forget to um shop with our sponsors culture excuse me culture of life 1972 <laughs> garnu american woman beauty and living in the light co okay we really got to get to popping all yeah. right so our first um topic oh <laughs> really quick Let's uh get to it. We're going to have oh. some really good tea. Clink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, love so it. Cute. Love it. Our own um, little table. I know. Clink. Um, hopefully everybody listening, you guys clink to your mugs too. Yes. Okay. So coffee, tea, f- coffee or tea. I'm drinking tea right now. Cool. I'm actually drinking like sleepy time tea. So like by the time we're done, I can Girl, like, KO. <laughs> I'm over here falling asleep on this podcast. I need to stop because I forget that I'm on, come on on people's like screens and stuff. And I'm like, oh, I'm over here like kicking my <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, people watch. So, you know. <laughs> I, I dressed um, up for you guys today. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, okay, so our first one is something that was kind of like sweep the nation all week. Everybody's talked about it, and I figured we could just add to the conversation. Um, it is the clip that Ulta Beauty posted. Oh my god. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna play the clip really quick. So if you haven't seen it already, you're about to hear it. Um, and these are two transgendered women are are you you're what you are now trans right is that anyway they're two men who consider themselves trans so they're wearing dress and makeup and everything and this is ulta beauty okay ready here we go i know i can still be a performer i know that i can have a family i want to be a mom one day and i absolutely can and that's why the narrative still has a long way to go because when i was grieving boy dylan i didn't know those things were even Okay, so why this was such an outrage is this Dylan person. Um, So we're going, okay, also too, we have another story that's kind of connected to this that I want to talk about. But before we do that, I do want to say like, um, our conversation isn't about the people. Our conversation is about the idea of transgenderism. It's not about Dylan and the other people that are going to be we're going to talk about later it's that's not we're going to be discussing transgenderism um and because of that it's it's not the person topic it's the topic and honestly my heart really goes out to people who consider who have body dysmorphia because that's what it is it's body dysmorphia and my heart really goes out to them because i i love being a girl i can't imagine i feel terrible too if i was born a guy but that's how god made me so i'd have to accept it (laughs) um I'm like, <laughs> but I love being a girl. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. So, um, 
Yes. So I just want a preference with that. Okay. So anyway, so this person um, is going through this little journey on TikTok. I've seen them come on my For You page. I've also seen them come on my um, yeah, it's, Instagram it's, page. Yeah. It's crazy how the algorithm, they don't hide those videos. Cause let me tell you, so many other no. videos do not get shown. <laughs> Cause For even real. if you're not on TikTok, you know about this video. That's how right. viral it's gone. Right. And, um, this Dylan person is going through girlhood, which I think is kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. Instead of like womanhood, like girlhood. But anyway, that's a whole nother conversation. Um, what I really wanted us to just talk about is kind of like discussing how um, these companies, these brands that are supposed to be women's spaces for women are being taken over by men. And honestly, how it feels, um, yeah. you know, as if men... I are trying to be better women than women, you know, that's, yeah. yeah. And I think, and I think that's where, I think that's where a lot of the backlash comes out. I don't, I don't, like you said, I don't think it's necessarily on the individual. It's not hate on the individual or even the transgender. It's the fact that these mainstream companies have decided that, oh, well, we're just going to put them because I think it's trendy, like for work, mm -hmm. you know? And so I think companies are like, just okay well this is a great marketing marketing agenda you know and it's like it's kind of a, a slap to the face to women because we're like well you know what like, about us yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly and i yeah. think people are like well yeah so i don't think it's necessarily hate on the individual it's more of like the whole companies pushing this ideology and it's not like it's not like I don't explain it. Yeah. Just pushing this ideology on the entire public, which is like, you could be whoever you want to be. And we're not, we're not saying that like, obviously as, as Christians, we know where we stand, but I'm saying like, who you're an adult, you can make your own decisions. That's between but you then, and God. But then, yeah. but then to put it on, you know, national television and put it on a brand that's primarily, that's primarily suited for women that I think that's where it's like, you know. And then I also think it's, I, I think the guidelines God has given us, rules in general, are not bad. Therefore, you need these things to have a functioning society. I think the other aspect is expecting us to smile and be okay with this thing that is, it is abnormal. I, that's another thing too. I hate when people act like, no, this is normal. No, it's not. It is abnormal. And I think it's okay right. to state that. And once again, that's between him and God. He can do whatever he wants. He has my complete and total like condolences, prayers, or whatever. But you know, expecting us to act like it's normal, expecting us to praise this, it does. It's disingenuous. It also, and I think the other like quote unquote insult is um, making girlhood, womanhood down to dressing up. I think that's really strange. Dressing up and putting on makeup. There's so much more to being a woman. It's like than... saying I'm a baseball player because I wear, I have a bat and I wear the jersey. Exactly. I'm not a baseball player. Exactly. <laughs> baseball. You know. Exactly. What I, mean? I saw someone also say, comparing it to like Rachel Dozel. You remember who she was? No. She was a white lady who was who said she was black. She wore like black <laughs> weave. She was like the president of the NAACP. And then they did a whole investigation, president girl. And then they did a whole <laughs> investigation on her. And turns out she's just some white girl from like Kentucky. Anyway, it oh reminds me, <laughs> it kind of somewhat compared it to that. And that kind of is similar to what it is. You're just kind of pretending to be something that you're, that you're not. Cause at the end of the day, you're not. Um, and I think people get frustrated and and um, they get uh, defensive yeah. when it's like being praised, when it is kind of like in elevated, when it's getting in the way of things for women. Like, you know, a woman could have had that position. He yeah. was a brand ambassador for Tampax. Like, come on. Come on. That's like, crazy. that's the. Yeah. So I just want to talk about that because in this, you know, acceptance um, and uplifting and um, normalization, all of that kind of leads to this next story. It kind of bleeds into what could happen in this next story. So listen to this. This is from the Daily Mail uh, UK. A hospital refuses to operate on sex <coughs> attack victim after she requests all female care because she fears mixed sex facilities are unsafe for women. 
The patient, a sexual assault victim, has requested all female facilities, uh, female facilities due to concerns over mixed areas. She was stunned when someone she believed to be a transgender male opened the door in pre-op assessment. This is not funny, what I'm about to say, but I'm making it funny. The comment I'm about to make, I'm making it funny because it's an uncomfortable situation. What if this person really wasn't transgender? They just were like (laughs) a girl who like hadn't, you know, taken care of herself. That that would have been... I would have felt so there. That would have been hilarious. Anyway, um, so wait, I'm like, it, I'm trying to like, but so, what? okay, so essentially, okay, let me finish it and then I'll like explain it. It okay. prompted her to complain to make a request for an all-female nursing care at Princess Grace Hospital. The hospital then canceled the surgery, claiming it was protecting staff from discrimination and harassment. Women's rights campaigners have savaged the hospital's act bringing a movement of misogyny in hills. Hospital set requests for single-sex care were particularly challenging, citing the diversity of colleagues. Okay, so essentially this woman, um, she's a sexual assault victim, and she needed to have surgery. A person who was pre-post-op, so really just like, you remember that video? Ma'am, I'm ma'am. Do you remember no. that video at the game time? Okay. Um, okay, so someone who hadn't, who, uh, a man who literally looks like he just threw on makeup and a dress so Mm -hmm. he didn't do anything to try to feminize his face didn't try to get like that so this person comes in to prepare her for her surgery and she gets uncomfortable and asks if only females can be in for the surgery well the people at the hospital huddle together to discuss okay and they say you know what we're going to cancel your surgery because we cannot give you an all-female um care so this is what i'm saying like the you know the tiny acceptance of girl dylan or whatever trickles down to things like this a hospital not giving someone uh, and i guess Here's the other thing, too. If the person was not trans, if the person was just a guy, and she says she wanted um, like all female, female, would it be a big deal? Right. Because I'll say this. my I'll never forget this. My grandma, she was in the hospital, and they were going to give her a bath. A man walks in, and she goes, no. It was actually kind of funny. And she's an older <laughs> lady, so I guess she kind of let it go. But a man walks in, and she goes, no, not him. Like, really? And the guy was like, I believe uh, that. Uh, they don't play. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, she's a a black uh, southern will, woman. As well. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so the Christian at that. A Christian. Latina grandmothers here. Yeah. Let's, so you get Latina it. You get Catholic it. Like grandmothers. Yeah. You playing with them. Mm-hmm. No, not today. Like, she went no. That their the opinion. Like, okay, okay. And he like left, and they brought in another woman. So, and honestly, like I'm sorry, like I only have female doctors. My dentist well, yeah. is male, but everything. I the yeah, my gynecologist is a woman. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to say. Be. I was about to say yeah, because you can definitely choose. It's not like you hate men or something. It's just what right. you feel comfortable. Like exactly. I don't feel comfortable with. You know, like I, my gynecologist has is is a is a is a girl. My yeah. um, my even what did you say? You cracked me up last time. Uh, like the only the only they can only be male. They're like my dentist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They can only or even like, my dentist. <laughs> I went to get a massage like a year ago now. But yeah, I want and, a woman, and it was a woman. I was just like, I don't want a man. Like they make you strip, like well, not strip. That sounds intense. <laughs> but I'm like, whoa, where your, are you going? You take your- <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rain and no they make you um, they make they do make you take your clothes off whatever you feel comfortable in yeah um and i was like oh comfortable <laughs> i was like i'll take it off but um yeah because it was a girl but yeah i mean you could totally choose it's, it's up yeah. to you as as a as the as a patient especially i would think especially in a hospital because it's you have that you have that um you know patient patient choice or whatever mm-hmm. like you know, you can't even donate if you don't. If your belief is not to donate blood or get blood, to blood get blood transfusions, like I know Jehovah's yeah. Witness, they mm-hmm. can't get blood transfusions. Like mm-hmm. obviously, to us, it seems like bizarre, but that's their belief. Like you know, they can't get a blood transfusion. They can't get a blood trans- transfusion. So, yeah. um, so yeah, I feel like I would definitely want like I personally would want girls as well. Yeah, I only want yeah. girls. I'm sorry, that's just nothing against men. And it's not that I don't think a man couldn't do a good job. I'll be honest. I just don't feel comfortable. And that's okay. 
and that's you know, and, and honestly, you don't even have you don't even have to give an excuse. Like it's your that's it's a good your point body. Too. It's your like you know like, my body, my choice. <laughs> <laughs> Only when it's convenient. No, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's wild. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. And this, I think, is the consequence of normalization. Because it's like, where do you draw the line? You know, exactly. I, you know, sorry, what? No, go ahead. Oh, I was just saying back to the whole like uh, body dysmorphia and things like that. Um, yeah, it does suck. And and it's uh, I don't know what study was done. I I read I heard this in passing, but it was like how um, just the 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 rate at which like people that are struggling with body dysmorphia have just risen over the years. It's like over like. Oh, I don't, I don't want to put a number because I might be totally lying. I want to say it was like 70 or 60%, like some high oh, number. Wow. And wow. Um, when you think about back to the birth control pill, um, those birth control, all of that literally deregulates your body, your hormones and everything. They have like basically causing you to have all these things as well. Like, And um, just, just really, thought of really this. Bad. Okay, just thought of this. It can make now, sense. That makes sense. But also this too. Now, this is just, you guys, this is a conspiracy. We don't know if this is true, but this is just a thought I had. This is team. Their parents, their yeah. parents, before they got pregnant, I actually even know people who were born while their mom was on birth control. Yeah. I wonder if that, those effects, do we know the effects that it has on your children once it they're leaked. in your body and you're, you know, you know, all that. Exactly. I wonder if yeah. that if you've had birth control in the past, I wonder if that affects them as well. Because, I mean, you can't tell me, why are so many women in our generation infertile? That just is so wild to me. That makes no That's sense. So, right. I know so many girls yes. who had such a terrible, who had a hard time getting pregnant. And I really don't think it's them. I really think there's so many other factors. And the main thing I can think of is birth control. Is birth control, girl. I mean, that stuff must be like hijacking your uterus and everything because like it is messing it's literally, up your body. It, it's literally counter culture to what your body is supposed to naturally do. Like big pharma is just girl, don't even get me started. Like the you were more, talking more about misogyny. Learn, I mean the more and more you learn I know. And it's it, the way they market is so brilliant, really, because they they make it about woman empowerment and it's your body and you could do whatever, da 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 but it's like it's not your body because Trust me, if I could eat the, all the fat foods and, and have the, the most perfect health, I, I would do that. But I know that that's not like how I'm going to get to my optimal health. You know, that's just not how it works. You can't expect to for, for you to put all these hormones and blockers and all these other like, you know, uh, toxins in your body. And then, oh, yeah, now I want to have a kid. So bless me, Lord. Yeah. Like this just doesn't it doesn't happen like that. Your no. body doesn't even happen like that. Um, but yeah, I think there's definitely something in, in the waters with, with the birth control and just 100%. people being in people, women being infertile and all that stuff. Like I, I definitely think in autism too, my sister, I tell, I was telling my sister, like all these little kids like born with like autism, like how, how, how did, how did all these diseases, like, do they like back then, like, what did they do? Cause they definitely didn't have no medicine. Like don't know. You know no, what like, else? Pills. I think know? of peanut allergies. Where did yeah. peanut allergies, I feel like. Oh, Everybody... people are allergic to everything. Yeah, where is this coming oh. from? These like, are just conspiracies. We don't know. I know. I'm like, there's. I have eczema, and apparently that's an autoimmune disease. And you know what also causes autoimmune diseases? Vaccines. Like, there's just this could have been a side effect from a vaccine that I had. Like, who knows? Who knows? Careful, and careful, you try careful. To, we can't try get to... this taken down. No, I'm just when you try, I'm dead. When you. <laughs> 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 sorry the what if people are starting to say like weird n- names the wax scene i'm like okay guys wax go. scene <laughs> <laughs> some people are going extreme with the trying to like say different mr words. stabby anyways um the juice the um, juice yeah so i don't know i think i i definitely think that's one of my biggest conspiracy theories of like big pharma and just all these different like um health issues that we have that we see today um but Anyways, thanks for coming to my tech talk. But all that goes to go, all that goes back into like what we see in our culture today. Mm -hmm. So many women being infertile, so many people having body dysmorphia, so many people just having anxiety and depression, like Mm -hmm. all that stuff. I mean, our food is, there's so many toxins in our food and our water and and our tooth. I mean, every single thing you can think of. So of course we're screwed, not screwed, but you know what I mean? Like, it's very difficult. I think this is why, I mean, I know for myself, um, I'm trying to do some biohacking. 
I really am looking for someone to come on the podcast to talk about biohacking. Mm-hmm. And okay. I'm also, <laughs> I mean, is that, no offense, is that, that's your specialty or? Um, and no, Mallory, okay. It's okay. Not, I, ooh, my voice is sounding raspy, girl. I'm ready to bed. <laughs> I was like, um, I would love to have you on, but can you talk about this topic? Like, do you know enough? Um, yes, but no, I really want to have someone on to talk about biohacking. And, and I would love to have like a biohacking separate podcast. So if you or someone you know is really into that, please let me know. I would love to uplift you on a platform to help us out. Because I think like right now, a lot of us are working on getting our bodies to how they're supposed to be. I know I've had conversations with people about like leaky guts, about um, bloating and everything. Yes. One of my friends, she was on birth control. So now she's fixing her hormones. So like, there's a lot of things that we're working on. And you know what? Now that you know, you can do better. Like, oh, well, you did birth control. Okay. You're done with it. Okay. Cool. Look where you are. Give yourself okay. grace. Give yourself, Give yourself grace, grace. For, for doing things that you at the time you thought were like good, you know? Yes. Or that were that was the best choice. Cause I think sometimes, yeah. I, I think sometimes people that go through the whole healing and learning journey, sometimes they forget that they were once naive and ignorant, you know? Yes. So I think there's definitely grace because you know, God gives us grace. Now it's just like, okay, making better choices for ourselves and our bodies and our families and stuff. Like my, my mom was on birth control after she had me cause I was the fourth baby and she was like, all right, well, um, <laughs> she was like, okay. clearly very fertile. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough of that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, but then, but then they try to have, um, I, they always, they always wanted more kids. Um, so when she got off the pill, they were trying to have more kids and it didn't happen until 10th year. But that's really cause God ble- decided to bless them really. Um, but crazy. My mom's like, yeah. I wouldn't, if, if I know what I know now, like I would have never done birth control. Yeah. And I think so many women regret that too. So you do, you know better, you do better. Another way to know better and do better is support brands that support us and our interests. You will like, never ever have to worry about American woman beauty, having male representatives, having male discussions. Um, these are beauty products such as the lipstick I'm wearing and the eyeshadow I'm wearing. Um, I purposely wore them uh, for this and just to talk about, and I actually genuinely like all the things that they do. And I, I support them. These are high quality products. They are um, cruelty free and they're not tested on animals and they are all made in the USA. And um, some of the, yes, and they don't compromise their values. <laughs> you can listen to episode 180 where I talk to the founder, Vivi, um, and we talk a little bit about like how she started the business, why she started it, and about like how important having brands that support us um, is. The I, the mascara I use now is from them, and then the shadow I use and lipstick I use is from them as well. Um, so you can head over to www.americanwomanbeauty.net and you can use the code MAL15 to get 15% off your purchase. Love it. Okay, so let's Wait. just do one more quick story. I was about to say, how many topics do we have? Just one? Yeah, we'll just do one more quick one. Technically, there's two, but we're at 47 minutes. Um, so you tell me which one you want to talk about. Um Alrighty. Megan Markle, or whatever one we don't do, maybe we'll do a poll and you guys can tell. Yeah, let's sense. do that. Um, like, yeah, we'll do, we'll, you guys can tell. Oh, whatever we don't do, we can do as a bonus for the, um, for the for Patreon. The oh, yeah, okay. for the Patreon, for the Patreon. So whatever topic we don't do. Okay. Which one do you want to talk about? Megan Markle, um, and her comment about being a bimbo or <laughs> this new study or being treated like a bimbo or this new study that says nearly a third of men under 30 have not had sex. Oh, I want to do the male one. The male okay. one. Okay. <laughs> okay. So a new study has come out. Oh. Let me see who th- this is from the general society survey, Washington post, and I will link this Twitter thread and let okay. me read to you the Twitter thread. Um, and then we can discuss. Okay. Young men aren't having sex, exclamation point. Nearly a third of men under 30 have not had sex, and a higher percentage do not have as much sex as they'd like to have, which is not exactly surprising. But this sign, this kind of statistic is a sign of something much deeper. Okay? This is what she says. I want to preface, homegirl is not a Christian, and you will be able to tell why. Oh, okay. Our, 
Yeah. Our society, so she's saying that this, the girl we're going to read from, she's saying this is a negative, that men are not having sex. Just listen. Okay, gotcha. Our, yeah, that's the context of the. <laughs> Our society criminalizes sex and sweeps it under the rug. The consequences are straightforward. There is more violence. Since platforms like Craigslist were banned from advertising sex, <laughs> serious violent crimes against all women, not just sex workers, have increased by nearly one fifth. And men who do not have sex suffer. They're less likely to be part of the labor force and more likely to experience depression, nihilism, and other mental health issues. The Me Too movement accomplished so much, and we have to take the next step normalizing healthy, having healthy, positive, and consensual sex, decriminalizing sex work funding, funding sex education, and creating outreach programs that help young people develop healthy sexual habits. We sh This uh <laughs> tweet i said this to my brother i'm like this is crazy um she says we should move toward a right to sex people should be able to have sex when they feel they want to and we need to develop services that meet people's needs without attaching the baggage of shame or criminalization so let's talk about sex we need to bring these discussions to the spotlight normalizing healthy positive sex will have too many downstream benefits to list. We need to move past our history of shame. It's time to bring sex into the light. <sighs> Interesting. <laughs> I think that the assessment is interesting. One third of men under 30 have not had sex. I'd love to meet these men. They certainly don't right. live in Charlotte. I'm like, where are these you. men? I'm like, where are these men? Right. Right. Houston. <laughs> They're not in Charlotte, so let's start off with that. Um, and Did apparently they do not a study Houston. in like Antarctica. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, who are the, like one third of, and also two? It <laughs> says and a higher yeah. percentage are not having as much as they'd like. Now, how much are they liking? Is it like six times a week, and then like we're right. saying, oh, that's not so. Like, what is? I'd love to see the metrics. Um, right, right, right. But anywho, <laughs> and the solutions are wild. She I says know. we should. She basically wants a, ma a male brothel. <laughs> she, yeah, she wants us to be able. Gosh, I'm feeling in the mood. Like knock, to, knock, it's like going hi. to a gas station and getting your right. favorite chips. <laughs> right, oh, knock knock. Way. Hi, here's my debit card. I would like um a six five okay. male with blonde hair and oh, green eyes like, this time. I would like, like a tall, dark, and handsome with my side of Takis and Dr Pepper. <laughs> right. <laughs> And they give you a receipt and you you're come back home. Where you been? I just went to the mail store. Like that's like, I'm so confused. Like how does she come to this conclusion? Right. And this who, whole thing is who were the males that were in the survey? I'm just I know. like, I, I got a lot of questions. I have so many questions. questions. I want to revisit <laughs> this in the future. Hopefully someone will write an article like, um, update, doing update. This updating this and i think um so some of the comments people are like sex is not a right and i think that's so important to remember that like sex isn't a right and also too this is goes back to the sexual revolution and how it really changed yeah. everything it like hookup culture has ruined us pornography has ruined us yeah. it's because people think that you have to have sex all the time no I've standards seen, or morals you know yeah you can just Those are there to everybody protect can us. to your body uh, yeah i think it's also again like uh, um having a healthy view on sex and yes that, that comes from you know Ooh, what the church what god says about sex you know and sex is good but it's in the parameters of you know marriage the sacrament of marriage and so i think that people forget um and when you take it out anything you they's taken out of you know what god says it's just not operating in the way that it's supposed to it's not natural therefore it's never going to suffice it's never going to you know it's never going to bring wholeness because actually when you have sex it's supposed to bring two people in one it's mm -hmm. it's um it's a good thing. It's a positive. It's, uni it's a unifying. It, it, sex is good. It's just that obviously people, the world has a different view on sex and th therefore you have what we, you have all these cultural ills that we see today. Mm -hmm. And like you said, people ha like you shouldn't have a right to sex because then it makes you feel entitled. And that's when men feel entitled to, you know, do things that women are not comfortable with and vice versa, you know, cause it's like, Oh no, well I'm in the, I'm, I'm, I need my needs met. And it's like, 
No, you don't. No, you don't. Are we married? Do I got a ring on my finger? No, right. I think not. And not only that, like, it's very respectful to wait for someone. It's very respectful to very take honorable. Your, uh, honorable to wait till marriage. Um, I also want right. to add this thing. Someone said this, and I think this is so profound. It said, implying men's high rate of depression slash lack of support network slash suicidal suicideness will be fixed if only the human connection was brief financially achieved sex where the person that has no interest of connection to them is just manufacturing more alienation and more loneliness. It blows my mind that people seriously think the solution to male loneliness is having better access to our really the most emotional, emotionally barren experience imaginable. Like this is such a good point. I mean, they're saying that having sex with someone who doesn't care about you, who is just using you for your body, um, who probably won't talk to you later, who X, Y, and Z really? is going to fix your loneliness? See you. What? Is going to fix the loneliness? No. Um, and I just thought of this, I, I think I mentioned this last episode too, but I'll say it again in case you hadn't heard it yet. You should check it out. Um, when I was on the podcast with those people, uh, with the, um, the guys uh, that were not Christians and they weren't, or I'm sorry, one of them was a Christian, but they weren't conservative. Um, yes, one of the, the non-Christian guy um, did watch porn and he did make a comment that like, he did feel empty sometimes afterwards. So like the idea of just like doing all of that and then just, oh, my loneliness is fixed. Like that's so, that's, it's spoken to someone who is silly. It's spoken to someone who doesn't know the situation, doesn't know the problem. Like we cra- like <laughs> girls crave um connection, but I believe guys do as well. I think that's why guys are lonely because they don't have especially when they get older, when you think about it, like how many friends does your mom have compared to your dad? Which is, you know, it is what it is on that. But like think about that. Like men want connection too. Maybe not mm-hmm. to the same level as women, because we are different, but men want connection. They yeah. want, as a human, you want, if you're going to have a sexual relationship, um, especially within the confines of your marriage, you want to have yeah. a connection with that person. You want to feel every, it's just so much more to this. Um, it's deeper, and, it's deeper. Yeah. but again, the enemy wants you to think it's not, oh, it's just your body. It's just, you know, whatever, like it's not a big deal, but no, it is a big deal. It's a huge deal because you, you have, um, you know, soul ties, you know, mm. that you then mm-hmm. have to heal from. I mean, mm-hmm. it's, it's possible to be whole again, but it's definitely going to take a lot of work. Yeah. And this hookup culture has not done anything positive. Like I promise oh, you no. ladies, like you are not going to feel fulfilled being with a bunch of different guys. I mean, it's not. It's not going to feel the way you think it's going to feel maybe for a moment, yeah. but not only that, you're not, women are not designed to be that way. Anyway, I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. Women are not designed to go from guy to guy, to guy, to guy, to guy. Emotionally, like no matter what you're like, Oh, I don't, it's whatever. It's, it's, it's transactional for me too. No, it's not. It's, it's not. not. You it's develop not. emotions because it's and- the oxytocin. It's literally scientifically like you release hormones that by default make you a, emotionally attached to that person like that's the yes. science so and for you to say that you're fooling yourself you really are because let's be honest you know you're fooling yourself yes and i wish someone had told me this in college and right me too feel, and if you feel as if um you are crazy because you cannot go from guy to guy you're not crazy there's nothing wrong with you yeah. i wish someone had told me that in college i had friends that were going from guy to guy to guy and i'm like Girl, I cannot do that. Oh God, I wish I could. I just, I can't do that. Like, that's just not me. Um, I just, a guy looks at me and smiles and I'm like half in love with him. I just can't do it. You know, I'm saying all these and all my friends are like, oh no, it's easy. It's easy. It's no problem. It's no problem. No, it is a problem. You're not wrong for not feeling that way. Like they're suppressing their femininity, their um, feminine urges. They're suppressing that. Um, But yeah, yeah. so- that's that statistic i will follow up on that because i would love i hope someone wrote like a think piece like breaking down all of this right I'm really i'm curious i i need to know where these men are because they're i'm telling you they're not Stop in charlotte they're, Girl, not, they're in charlotte. not in houston i'll tell you that I, like i would love to be with the man who it's it really is crazy though the whole text. thing because it's like yeah 
And trust I mean, me, do not, especially do not have sleep with someone just because you think they're finally will commit to you because that ain't not happening, okay? No, no. You do not need to do that for a guy to commit to you. No. Truly. And honestly, withholding sex till marriage shows how genuine the guy is. Yeah, if once I mean, you tell guys you're waiting for marriage, girl, they ain't gonna respond to text. They're the I was gonna person. say, normally they run away, but, but you know, right. <laughs> there will be oh. a guy one day, hopefully, um, that, will be like, day. that will run to <laughs> you. Um, but I'm gonna be honest, in 2022, the moment you say you're abstinent, right. guys typically, ah! They're like, tomatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> <Right. laughs> <laughs> I had someone once say, <laughs> Um, he said something like, dang, that's very noble of you. And I was going to reply, thank you, but he got a match with me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I was hey, like, jo- okay. jokes, jokes on him. Yeah. We are strong. We do not back down. I'm just kidding. No, we Lord, don't. Lord knows I'm not strong, but he is my strength. <laughs> yes. Amen. Amen. Um, but yeah. That's anyway, wild. that's that on that. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, please make sure you share it with all of your <laughs> friends. I think there's a lot of good discussions we can have here. Discussions about um, women, how are we feeling I'm about like- <laughs> women, how we're feeling about um, trans identities and, you know, where does that fit within like makeup and like business? And, you know, if you're going to a doctor, do you want just a female, uh, I'm going to say female cast. Do you want just female <laughs> nurses? Um, and also to discuss staff. Mm-hmm. female staff that's that's the word do you want just female <laughs> staff do you want um, an art director <laughs> and also too um you know if you're going through something seriously remember that god is good and thankfulness thankfulness is going to be so crucial and important um order some cute merch um these mugs are on the website as well right Yes, these mugs the are mugs. on the website. Yes. My family loves perfect. your mugs, by the way. Your mug. Yay. Your mug. They're, um, they, yeah, they're over here washing it and stuff. I'm like, okay, be careful. It's my, my, my only mug right now. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, well, get it. And it'll be fun to drink Saturday mornings when you are having your tea or coffee, listening to the weekly tea yes. cap. Um, and if you are listening to this on Apple um, Podcasts, please leave us a five-star review we would really really appreciate it um and if you could also type out a review Mm. when you type out a review it pushes us up in the algorithm and it helps other girls other girls um find us and it also (laughs) helps it also helps um like we're trying to come out trying to be counterculture we're trying to be up there with the feminists that feminist instagram i want us to be be up up there there, giving the truth as opposed to the lies Yes. Um, in a cute and fashionable way. Period. Exactly. Yes. Period. Cute. Period. And period. Oh, please stop. <laughs> I'm going to, yes, I'm going to get you out of it. I, no, stop it. I, no, I never want to hear her again. Oh my goodness. I, <laughs> I want to exit you out of here. Oh my God. I can not believe you brought that up. Ah, okay. <laughs> She's terrible. Do not look it up. Um, <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> you did the tongue and everything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you should clip that. You should clip that and put it on on your reel. <laughs> I should. I'm um, just getting into all that. <laughs> Wait, I should put, do it put, in the put, put, re- snippet to where I like deset. I'm over here like the last episode, I was like l- full full blown, like doing my hair and makeup on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god. I did not. Anyways. Anyways. Um, leave reviews, please. Tell us and tag us how much you, you, you enjoyed it. Insta or whatever. Yeah, if you're Twitter, listening, but... tag us. Um, tag we'll us, share please. it. Um, and you know, we appreciate it. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe and comment. We're yes. so we're still like, at six... comment, subscribe. Yes, please. we're still at sixty something percent of male watchers. Still find okay. that strange. Um, okay. But if you're male a woman, blo- male bloggers, what's say? <laughs> if you're a woman, go ahead and subscribe and comment. That helps us a lot. Don't know what a man would be interested. Well, today they might be interested in the episode. But uh, <laughs> anywho, um, thank you everybody Story for listening. This, no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> this ending has gone on a long time. So everybody, okay, I okay. hope you enjoyed it. Um, love you all. 
Have a good Love day, it. night, evening, however, whenever you are. Bye. XOXO.